Today in the Love Lab, I'm gonna show you how to grill up some watermelon for that summer cookout. Come on in the kitchen, let's cook. Okay guys, well first off, there's a sister video to this that I show you how to grill pineapple. So you put the two together and you'll actually have a really great summer cookout with some grilled fruits. You wanna start with, I'm just doing this inside on like a grill plate, a cast iron grill plate. I have it on my uh, stove top, which is heated to medium high. First thing you wanna do is just lightly brush your watermelon with a little bit of vegetable oil. You don't have to go overboard here, but this is gonna help you get the grill lines that you're looking for. Make sure your surface is hot. All right, and then put it, oh yeah, it's getting hotter. Then you're gonna put it down with the oil side down on the grill grates. Now, once you put it on there, then you will oil the other side. And you're just gonna let this go for about three to four minutes per side until you get nice grill marks. And then once it comes off, what we're gonna do is uh, squeeze some fresh lime juice and put some cilantro on this. And I'm telling you, that cilantro and lime juice combination on the watermelon is amazing. And I turned my fan on, guys, because when you're grilling uh, fruit like this, ooh, it gets very smoky, all right? And don't be surprised if your smoke alarm goes off in your house. I've had that happen quite a few times. Okay, here we go, put this one here. Now the other thing I wanna tell you, what I love about grilling watermelon is the flavor changes. It's not as sweet anymore, I smell it. Oh, it gets the smokiness to it that just tastes amazing. And you literally are looking at, tasting the watermelon thinking, I've never had watermelon like this, it's so good. You do this along with the sweet and spicy grilled pineapple that's in the sister video, I'm telling you, best cookout ever, okay? Let's go ahead and get the oil on this side of these. Like so. Okay. okay. Let's take a piece here. Oh, look at that, beautiful. Oh, beautiful, it's so pretty. Look at that. There we go. See, it's real smoky. There we go. Beautiful. Oops. I'm always scared I'm gonna drop one. Now while those are finishing, I'm gonna go ahead, got a lime in here, and just give this a little squeeze of fresh lime juice. Fresh lime juice makes a lot of difference, trust me. And a little bit of cilantro as well. The flavors of these is just, it's magical, dare I say. Let me get a fork so I can get ready to taste this. And don't go overboard with the lime juice. You know, you don't need a ton. Um, but another thing you can put on this also with the watermelon is a little smidge of salt. Sometimes a little smidge of salt will help you also bring out the flavors in the watermelon beautifully. Look at that. See, once that grill gets to the right temperature, this is not difficult to do. Beautiful. All right, guys. Now that these have cooled off a little bit, I'm just gonna go in for a little taste. I'm gonna get a little, one more little piece right there, that lime juice. Again, if you need to, I'm telling you, just put a little salt on there too because salt sometimes helps with the flavor as well. There you go. And, oh, it's so good. It doesn't even need salt, that lime juice on there is everything and it's perfect absolutely perfect all right guys well look that's it we're done this will set your cook off on a whole nother level be sure to catch out the sister video to this one on how to grill pineapple sweet and spicy pineapple that one's got a little kick to it because y'all know how i do this one is just all sorts of delicious well that's all for today guys thank you so much for joining me i will see you next time right back here in the love lab for more calabama cooking with your girl chef Lori's happy cooking